In this video, we'll go over the Profile tab. It used to be located at the top right. We've moved it since and put it in the list of items here. So at the bottom, you'll see Profile. And from here, you see your account information in the first block. This shows you your username, your email, and your password. You can change those things directly from here. Make sure you click Save. Below, you'll see your email and push notification settings. From here, you could actually choose what images you'd like to receive on your phone or through email. So if you want deer and hog images, you'll select both. And those images are the only ones that will be sent to you. All your turkey and other images will not be sent to you. Below, you'll see the activity report email. You can actually set this up to send daily, weekly, or monthly. And that'll just give you a little bit of information on what your cameras do throughout that timeline, such as how many deer images were taken and so forth. You could add additional emails to receive this report and also these email accounts will receive the pictures that you choose in the notification settings. Finally at the top right you'll see Stripe subscription. Here's an information block of just all our plans and you could actually check and see which plan you're subscribed to by going to the customer portal. So the customer portal is where you'll change your subscription plan such as if you want to add a camera or if you're wanting to delete a camera, you could change between the Weekend Warrior Trophy plan. Um, all that's within this customer portal, so let's dive into that. So when you get into your customer portal, this is what it'll look like. You can only access this through a computer or your internet browser on your phone, not through the app. At the top, it'll show you your current plan. So we're on the Weekend Warrior at $25 a month. It'll show you when your plan renews, February 4th. Below you'll see your payment method and from here you can actually delete this one or add a new one. Here's your billing information, your email, this is where your receipts will be sent and also your invoice history is here at the bottom. So if you're wanting to cancel your plan altogether, this is where you'll do that. It's just the cancel plan button right here and that will just totally get rid of all your cameras and your subscription will be canceled. To add a camera, to delete a camera, to change your plan, you do that all through the update plan button. So let's click on that. So let's say we wanted to add a smart cam. So we'll go here and hit the blue button that says update quantity. We'll change our quantity to three. And we'll click on confirm. So now we're paying for three smart cams and we're paying $35 a month for those cameras. And now we can go back to our Hunt Control account and add that camera when we're ready. Now let's say we wanted to update our plan to one camera instead of three. Click on the blue button. Let's go down to one. Hit confirm. So now we're paying for one camera at $15 a month. So the last thing we'll cover is when you want to cancel your plan but keep all your photos and activity chart data. You can actually do this by going to update plan, setting your camera quantity to one, and choosing the $4.99 per month plan. So for $4.99 a month, all our pictures will be stored, all our activity charts will stay, and we'll be just paying $5 a month to keep all that information. So let's go ahead and hit continue. Confirm. Okay, so now we're on the standard plan. The cellular data will not work on your cameras. So this is just to store your information in Hunt Control. So let's go back to Hunt Control and show you how all your information will be saved for $5 a month. So you'll notice that it says Hunt Control Usage Limitation. So this is just letting you know that you have more smart cams in your account than you are paying for. But that's okay because we want to keep our information. We're just not paying for the cellular service. So you can still go to your images and they're all still going to be there for $4.99 a month. All your activity charts will stay the same. So when you're ready to set your cameras back out and start using the cellular data again, you'll just go back to your profile Go to Customer Portal, you'll update your plan, update your quantity, 
In our case, we have two. We'll hit confirm. And then we'll update our plan again to the weekend warrior. And this activates the cellular data. So we're back at $25 a month for our two cameras and we're ready to set our cameras back out. If you have any questions regarding your subscription or billing information, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'd be glad to help.